Slovenci 91. preko JNA htjeli dio Hrvatske. Slovenci wanted Uh, in 1991, through the Yugoslav uh, military, uh, part of the Croatia, like this. I'm do this here. This is a big news. They put this on July 2017. Why? In 2017. Why is it in, what is it, 2016? 2014? Nothing, nothing really. 2017, 2024. Why? What's happening here with this? I'm asking Croats, what's happening with this stuff here? Why 2017? What's happening here? Why 2000? Why 2017 with this stuff here if it happened in 1991? What's happening here with this stuff here? Two 2017, 2018. 2017, what's happening here with this stuff here? Croats, what's going on with this stuff here? You should be ashamed to put this stuff on the internet, by the way. Yeah, but since you did it, since you did try to spit on me, uh, I will return back exactly the way you tried to fuck me is what you're going to get it back together with the Milan Kuchan. Um... To exercise extermination procedure, a Croats needed something to, to exercise extermination procedure against me, who was a vehement supporter of Croatia, of independent Croatian state. I did everything I possibly could to support Croatia. Croats needed something, and that something was given to the Croats by the Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahar, nobody else. Slovenian politicians such as Mago Jelincic, maybe even France Bucar, maybe even France Bucar was a good candidate for that. Zmago Jelincic was involved in it. France Bucar was involved in it. But Borut Pahar was involved in it. Milan Kuchan was involved in it. They were initiators of this stuff. And I was involved in it. And I was surprised when Milan Kuchan instigated that we have the opportunity, that finally we have the opportunity for Slovenia to obtain the sea, enlarge itself the way I wanted to. Don't need to explain this stuff went on during MK Ultra. I was drugged up. I did not understood anything about what the fuck went on. And I am also going to call for Slovenian Sova. Slovenian Sova is this here. Slovensko Bošovalna Varnostna Agencija. That's a security intelligence uh, agency in Slovenia. It's called SOVA. That's the one that absolutely had files about absolutely everything that went on absolutely in Slovenia. There is no fucking doubt about it. In Slovenia, they covered absolutely 100% of the time for whatever took place. I am calling for this intelligence agency because I had Milanovic jumping in my face because I have entire Sabor Hrvatski jumping in the face uh, strange Croats pa zašto ste Hrvati u 2017. godini e, obznanili ovu 
novost. Tek sam juče ovo e, primijetio na vašem, na vašem ja, kad sam išao kroz Mostar i ovo, mislim je bio prek juče što sam ovo uhvatio na internetu na vašoj stranici. E, I nisam bio ni malo iznenađen, odmah sam znao šta je bilo. A, Sanader, Milanović, Kolinda Grabar, celi hrvatski, čitavi srvatski sabor ušao u mene, ali ne u 2017. godini, nego odmah tamo u 1993. godini čitav je Hrvatski sabor bio sa mnom. Ali kad se to dogodilo u 1991. godini, tamo u roku 3-6 mjeseca imao sam već Hrvati koji su mi prijetili. Ja sam bio taj koji sam kazao, ali što sam kazao, sada ću vas, da vas malo zajebe. A zajeba će najviše, ne samo Hrvatski sabor, nego će najviše da zajebe Milana Kučana i Boruta Pahora, čovjek, ljude koji još jedan put htjeli bi rat u okolini Mostara, znači u Bosni i Hercegovini za veliku Srbiju. Oni se ti što su htjeli sa ovim, što su izradili iz ovog Mostara, a ovaj video što sam dao, e, ja mislim čak i sa Francuzima da naprave još jedan rat ali protiv Hrvatske. Ovako je što je bilo 91. godine kada sam ja kazao svima Slovencima koji su do mene došli da treba da se, da se, da se protiv Hrvatske E, ako je potrebno napravi i, i rat pa da se zauzme dio Hrvatske e, evo kakvi pod čime kako sam ja to kazao Slovencima kad su kod mene došli ja za ovu stvar uopšte nisam bio interesant, jer sam uvijek bio za Hrvatsku, za neodvisnu Hrvatsku, to je prva stvar. A kad mi je Kučan i Borut Pahor, kad su mi već insistirali da i oni bi ovo htjeli sa Gregorom Golobićem, pa sa Školjčem, pa sa svim slovenskim parlamentarcima, jer to me stvarno iznenadilo, oni su bili koji su tu počeli, Onda su ovi takozvani slovenski nezavis, nezavisni političari e, isto htjeli e, da do ovog dođe, a iz mojih, e, kako se kaže, iz mojih ust, iz mojih usti. A onda opet kučao, kučan jer ja nisam bio zainteresiran za ove stvari, opet došao kod mene i opet poš, počeo da instigate, opet će počeo da insistira na ovom. Posljede moje riječi su bile da može to i treba to da se napravi, ali samo pod dvijemi pogojemi, pod dvijemi ružnicami, Pogoj, pogoji, pogoji, ne znam kako se kaže ovaj. Ja, pogoji. Po Hrvatskoj mislim isto da je pogoji. E, a možda i nije, ne znam. Treba više vremena da e, provedem na, na vašem jeziku pa da opet da ga se malo bolje naučim, ali evo, pitao sam ja Kučana i Pahora, eksplicitno, htio sam odgovor, što se dešava sa Hrvatskom, je li Hrvatska u stanju da se brani pred Srbijom? I kazao sam im, ako je Hrvatska propala, 
Ako je Hrvatska nema više kako da se brani, ako Hrvatska ne može više teritorijalno da se odobrani od srpske JNA agresije, u tom primjeru treba slovenska vojna vojska da uđe u, u teritoriju Hrvatske i da zauzme što je možljivo veći dio Hrvatske, a s time svaki Hrvat bi se sa mnom strinjao, sve u redu. A onda druga stvar, još bitnija, pitao sam Kučana, pitao sam e, Borota Pahora, jer su isto govorili da je bio dio Slovenije, da je Slovenija ove, e, da su Hrvati zauzeli. Ja nisam uopće znao o čemu su oni govorili, u koji teritoriji Hrvatske da bi Slovenija s pomoću JNA zauzela. Pitao sam ih, opet sam ih pitao što isto nakazuje da je uopšte ja nisam znao med, med, među MK Ultrom što se dešavao. Pitao sam ih i sova, sova slovenska agencija treba ovo da da uživo ovo. Pitao sam ih, eksplicitno pitao sam ih. Ako bi taj dio Slovenija zauzela svojom vojskom, je li bi to imalo ikakav, znači, za postoj Hrvatske, je li bi to imao, je, je, ako bi ovo zauzeli neku teritoriju Hrvatske, je li bi to ogrozilo Hrvatski opstoj, opstoj Hrvatske države, ja sam htio da znam. Znači, ako bi mi napali Hrvatsku i napravili neku štetu tamo kod Karlovca i ovo, i sa druge strane bi to Srbi nas sreli negdje, to bi moglo da upropasti opstoje Hrvatske države. I kazao sam im, specitno sam i kazao, ako bi to grozilo opstoj Hrvatske države, onda to uopšte ne dođe u bilo kakav e, slučaj. Samo treba Milan Kučan i Borot Ka, Pahor da kažu istinu Hrvatskom saboru. To je sve. To je sve. Ili da bi Hrvatski sabor, bar meni izdajice Hrvatske, dozvolile da se branim gnojevi jedni kad ste mi imali izdrogiranog, barem da bi mi dozvolili da ja govorim, da ja kažem istinu šta je bilo. In English language, simply, I will repeat to you, in English language. Slovenian intelligence sova witness this stuff, have audio and video recorded this stuff, probably video recorded as well. It was Milan Kočan first who came to me, instigated, that for the first time in the history of Slovenia, Slovenia would have opportunity to occupy uh, a considerable portion of the Croatia. And he was talking about the Istria and that he was giving me. And I wanted to know, I wanted to be very, very detailed about what exactly they, they instigated in Istria. There would be Istria, something like that. Uh, i wanted to know in details what exactly you are talking about. What exactly are you referring to? Uh, there were no details. He, however, managed to involve in this stuff also. And Rupel, and uh, Jansha, and Peter Le, and France Bucar, and every Slovenian politician, pro-independence politician, With what was weird, because Gregor Golobic, eh, Kresal, Tanja Fajon, and all this, Drnoški, and eh, the so-called ex-communists of the ex-Yugoslavia, they were just looking like from, this, from the distance. It didn't make any fucking sense, because they were initiators of this stuff. So, with the assistance of the Yugoslav military, which were Serbs, eh, whether would it be okay if I would give okay for the Slovenian military to assist Yugoslav military by taking part of the Croatian land. That's what they wanted from me. 
And before I give this okay, before I gave okay, and I, I did give okay, I, I just did not know what the fuck I gave the okay for. I wanted the answers, and I, answers I never got them. So no wonder this session, this MK Ultra session, about whether I am okay with Slovenia taking part of the Croatian territory, they repeated and repeated and repeated for entire six months. For six months they repeated. After six months they got whatever answer they wanted to assemble together with the Slovenian intelligence agency SOVA to submit this to the Croats, to the Sabor, I anticipate. Some Croats started to give me a feedback already after three months calling me traitor whatever and so on and so forth. But I did not know what the fuck went on. It's important to notice that I demanded an opportunity from Slovenian side to declare themselves about two things. I wanted to know two things as a drugged up individual which only demonstrates high capacity of IQ, ability to make sound judgment despite scumbaggery that surrounded me. I demanded from Slovenian side to declare me. Number one thing, if taking this portion of uh, wherever land, because I was asking them, and they talked to me about something that Slovenia, that the, the Croats took the Slovenian part and so on, uh, parts, it wasn't, it didn't stop there. They, they, they started to instigate about other parts later on along the Croatian border. I, I just didn't have any kind of problems with this kind of stuff, ever. I wanted to know one thing, two things. First was that I wanted to know is whether if the main thing for me was whether if this kind of agreement between the, U, between the Serbs and between, before I would even go to that issue, before I would, there were two things. So the second issue was, if there was such a deal that would take place, would that actually endanger the national integrity of Croatia? In other words, if we would, I wanted to know which part was it they wanted to take. So that we would not, if, if we were to take some part, whatever part it would be, with the military, so that it would not damage impact independent Croatia. And I don't even know if this happened in 91. I have to be very, very careful with that stuff. Because the war already raged in Croatia, like for six months, something like this. This is, oh, this is another issue about this stuff. Three months, between three months, it was already three months, between three and six months, something like this, in, in war in Croatia already, when they started with this stuff. And so I wanted to know if if we were to take a military action, would that have any kind of impact on the Croatian state, on existence of the Croatian state? Like there were certain territories that were very sensitive that if you would take militarily, uh, it could endanger entire structure of the Croatian state, and Croatian state would fall, succumb to pieces, it would cease to exist. This is something I strictly, strictly disagreed with. This is only the person that would be extremely concerned for a Croatian state or any kind of state would ask this kind of question. This is what I was. This is what I was despite all the scumbaggery that went around me. I was the one who did this. Do you understand? I was the one who did this, who asked this question. And before I even asked that question, I wanted to know something else about this uh, deal, about this military operation that Slovenian side would uh, exercise uh, on Croatian side with a complete agreement of uh, Serbs of the Yugoslav national military. What exactly is the situation? I did not, this was like a chaotic stuff. What exactly is the situation? in Croatia, because when they started to instigate, I didn't fucking know what, what went on. I, I wondered whether the Croatian still, still exist. It came on my mind, like, asking me this kind of question, it's like, what the fuck is happening? I mean, maybe they, they completely ran over the Croatia or whatever, and I wanted to know 
is the Croatia still in one piece? Uh, if they ran over Croatia and Croatia is no longer in capacity to defend itself, I told them in that case, I told them yes, in, if, it's, if Croatia is under attack and they no longer can defend themselves, I told them then take as much as you can of the Croatian territory. And it's, I am certain 100%, even today in 2024, any fucking day, any time, every Croat in Croatia would 100% agree with me. With what became people in Istra and Rijeka, the people find out about this stuff. And they applauded to me because the Croats knew about this stuff. So it's time for the Sabor from 2017 because between 1991 to 2017 is a lot of time. You fucking upgrade. You update your lies. Okay? They didn't have any kind of intention to do anything. They wouldn't do any fucking thing. Uh... All they wanted, and also was the Croatian side, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted the excuse for what they were preparing. And what they did, they fucked me big time. I was the supporter of the Croatia, and so for the Croatian state, just like for the Slovenian state, was a preliminary to obtain some kind of excuse, some kind of lies, something they could use actually to point out the people one day. But you know, if I would complain against, well, you know, this guy was not up to any fucking good. He wanted to make a deal with the Serbs. This is what these people in Croatia from Sabor. Uh, also this guy here. Also this individual here. And I'm not saying that he is not a... I'm not saying that he is not... I'm not saying that Andrei Plenković is not the Croat. I'm not saying that he is not the patriotic Croat. I'm only saying that he's a slime bag. I'm saying that he's playing dirty. I, I'm saying that he played extremely dirty. He played extremely dirty. He had his waves and he undermined he undermined me. Uh minuscule me together with the Croatian Sabor whom he used for the lot of violence and lies against me. I was also the one who demanded from the Croats to buy Swedish fighter jets because Swedes promised they would do jobs they would offer jobs in Croatia and do the stuff like this and they they decided simply they're gonna go with the Croats uh, with the French which I think it's a it's a really good deal I don't have anything absolutely anything against French don't get me wrong uh, French were the one that trained Ante Gotovina French were the one that trained Croatian military structure to degree so they were able to liberate themselves. France played a crucial role in existence of the Croatian state. But I'm afraid there is some kind of a filthy play in the background around Mostar for which Borut Pahor video I have just re released also about the Mostar. Bosnia and Herzegovina. I am really afraid that uh, because Borut Pahor was obsessed with this issue of the Mostar, it was a Borut Pahor was totally, totally obsessed with this issue uh, of the Mostar. This issue here. And he did go to the distance trying to fuck me, but I analyzed it really good. Um, it could be more. It's difficult to know what exactly is going on. Borat Pahor absolutely wanted me to blame Croatian side, that is Croatian side trying to initiate war uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. But you know, you don't have to be a genius. You can just see Milorad Dodik. You can see Aleksandar Vucic. They work on a daily base to break Bosnia and Herzegovina and to create a greater Serbia. Uh, with a Borat Pahor still did not come down, he still did not come, he still did not come, and from behind continues with the Kuchan, they continue to bleed, they continue to stab the Croatian diplomacy, which is actually quite obedient. 
I don't have anything else I would add to this video. I think it's a good video. It's time for the Croats to update. You have to fucking update. Stop lying about it. You did, you did cause me real problems. You ruined my life with a psychiatry. You supported Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Poly. You were the biggest enthusiast and the biggest supporter of extermination procedure genocide against me without your support for psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje you Croats yeah you Croats had a special agreement with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje you're gonna have to your sabor your Hrvatski sabor will have to reveal the special agreement contract you had with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje <coughs> Slovenian side from psychiatrist Peter Kapsch to Andrea Jeric to director Novo Mesto Police uh, to individual I have met the other day at the police station where I fired the police complaint, MK Ultra police complaint whose wife is a teacher and he is a police officer meeting your Croatian politicians and so on in Croatia and so on with your Croatian politicians coming here at Novo Mesto police station your Politicians working, repeating psychiatric torture throughout Croatia, copy paste to whatever went on in Slovenia to cause as much as possible trauma against me. Uh, you had direct contract your psychiatric hospitals with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana. You guys need to do the job. You need to come clear about this stuff. I am not responsible to do to you. I am not, I don't owe you anything. Uh, you need to clear your stuff. You need to come clean about it. You need to declare about this stuff because I've been your prisoner for 52 fucking years. Losing yourself up, relax yourself, free yourself of lies. Come clean about it. I don't absolutely own absolutely anybody anything other than kick in the butt. Ass kick kick ass that's all there is you lied you lied you lied and I am now age 52 and the only thing you did is you lied you extorted you misinterpreted with your Slovenian colleagues and you ruined you destroyed my life now you're liable for it yes I was always the one who protected Croatian state and it's very 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 sad to know that the Croats are so pathetic that they know when there is somebody so enthusiastic about supporting them they can find somebody else they'll go right on that person and will continue to suck and suck and suck and suck and suck and eventually erase person uh, get person killed literally waste his life And I'm not going to even say, rather to come clean about it, tell the truth about it. Make your journalists, whatever, guess and so on. Or maybe make them guess so the whole thing would look more guessing. The guessing is over today. That's the truth about, what is it with this stuff here? This here, this stuff here. Slovenci 91 Slovenian in 91 through the use of U U Serbs uh, Yugoslav army wanted the, the part of the Croatia okay you guys need to fucking clean clean your saliva motherfuckers around your mouths clean yourself fuckers so you see yourself in a mirror like a people not like a swines like a pigs like you are I don't understand how you motherfuckers can live like this but you do, you live like this, you just go out there and the Roger Bunny and you fucking lie and kill and people die, right? And, you know, whoever the fuck this guy right there is, right? That's not Borut Pahar, no. Pui, motherfuckers.